Hello and welcome to Actium's Floating Offshore Wind Solutions On Demand webinar. This is the first in a series of presentations from our technical experts, which will cover all industries and sectors that we operate in. We hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, we will provide details on how you can get in contact with us at the end of the webinar. This session is presented by Tom Fulton, Head of Renewables at Actium. Hello and welcome. My name is Tom Fulton and I am the Head of Renewables and Mooring Development for Acteon. Some of you may know me from my previous tenure at Intermore, and I think these are really exciting times when we get to apply all the knowledge we've accumulated over the years in mooring system solutions to the new field that is floating wind. Floating wind is our topic today and I will present, be presenting an introduction to Acteon's capabilities in that field. Acteon provides industry-leading marine and subsea solutions for all renewable nearshore construction and oil and gas markets across all phases of a project life cycle. So floating wind really graduated from prototype to operational when the High Wind Scotland Wind Farm started operations at the end of 2017. Today is definitely considered the solution of the future with five to 30 gigawatts of floating offshore capacity forecasted to be installed in the next 10 years. So why is floating wind taking off? First, because environmental concerns have pushed projects farther offshore where they can't be seen and where they're less likely to damage the coast and the seabed. With that, floating systems have to be the solution since we can't use fixed bottom approaches and water depths greater than about 60 meters. Second, for capacity reasons, we are moving towards larger turbines. Today, we are looking at turbines in the 12 to 15 megawatt range to take advantage of the stronger winds in deep water, create more capacity, and eventually lower the cost of levelized energy. And finally, because floating wind answers the need for economies of scale and lower cost, especially through its standardized solutions. So how does Acteon answer the challenges of floating wind? We have worked in all water depths for decades and we have considerable experience in water depths where floating wind is needed. We can analyze and understand ocean and seafloor conditions and, high, and higher water depths and more different types of assets, including very large ones. In terms of installation and operational efficiency, our integrated approach, as well as our focus on innovation and technology allow us to reduce interfaces, reduce the number of crew on vessels, and ultimately reduce the cost of installation. We work in four main sectors, oil and gas, renewables, aquaculture, and nearshore marine construction. Acteon takes a focused approach to integration by using a single contracting entity. Straightforward yet flexible solutions that span the life cycle of a project include early engagement and strong risk management, which can drive operational excellence. Commercial discipline and selectivity, integrated procurement and leverage, which can reduce cost, reduce project risk and schedules. We can offer a dedicated project focal point with aligned goals a dedicated and experienced project management team, which works directly with the client sponsor to deliver fully aligned and seamless solutions with a single goal and focus. This can simplify and streamline solution. Acteon manages and coordinates all services, minimizing interfaces, reducing client management burden, and permitting focus on their operations. Let's go into a bit more detail on what services we can provide. Acteon provides solutions and services for all renewable markets. This slide depicts the broad range of services we provide for floating and fixed wind fields. These services span across the wind field life cycle. The next series of slides describes at a high level our services for floating offshore wind projects. So we operate in pre-feed and desktop studies. We do this by applying our deep domain expertise 
to help the clients choose the best options from anchoring to cable laying to installation methods to mitigate technical risk and lower the levelized cost of energy. We can provide services such as site characterization recommendations, floating hull assessments, high level mooring cable arrangements, assessments of the anchors that would be needed, installation considerations of all the above, preliminary schedules and budget pricing. In site characterization, we use the latest technology to provide accurate assessment of the seabed characteristics and ultimately a reduction in overall costs. These services span across geophysical, geotechnical, med-ocean, bathymetry, environmental, and cable route surveys. In the feed and detailed engineering uh, part, we have a deep cross-disciplinary understanding of the connections between key aspects of design and engineering across the life cycle of a project. We offer quite a few services in this area, including global performance of the hull moorings and cables, mooring design, anchor design of any different types of anchors, cable lay analysis, site layouts. Uh, we can develop digital twins, monitoring, sea fastening, tow routing and analysis, risk assessments, installation engineering, procurement support, logistics planning, and cost analysis. We can provide moorings on a sale or lease basis. We have extensive domain knowledge in this area and our mooring specialists can help you choose the most efficient anchoring solution. So as far as anchors, we provide all different types uh, from drag anchors, suction anchors, driven piles, drilled and grouted piles, and supple anchors. We provide mooring line hardware, chain, wire rope, fiber rope, swivels, connectors, anything that's needed. We have quick disconnect connectors and also tensioners for tensioning a mooring system. In marine operations, our innovative installation methods increase efficiencies and decrease costs. Uh, we can moor the floaters up uh, key side. We can install prelay moorings offshore. We can do the nearshore and offshore tows. We can hook the floaters up to the moorings and we can optimize the array cable layouts and provide efficient cable installations. In monitoring inspection, we keep the life of field of the asset in mind by including data gatherings and monitoring systems during installation to facilitate future maintenance and decommissioning. So these sensors can look at moorings, anchors, cables, the hull and other various things in the field. On inspection, we can do visual measurements that would include moorings, anchors, cables, the hull and other items. In repair and maintenance, we keep life extension in mind by offering repair and maintenance service throughout the life cycle. So this includes disconnect and towing the facility to shore for maintenance, reconnecting the floating facility after the maintenance, repair and placement of mooring lines, dynamic cables, and sensors. Now let's take a quick look at our track record. These are a few of the floating renewables projects that we have worked on from concept engineering to marine operations with the Ocean Technologies Power Buoy last year. We have several projects currently underway, which we'll report on at another time. Now let's look at some potential optimizations for floating wind. There is a need to focus on industrialization of projects as commercial wind farms have from 30 to 50 or more turbines and floating foundations and hundreds of mooring lines. We address this through our extensive marine experience and lessons learned databases, sharing this knowledge across all the markets we operate in globally. This experience extends primarily from the seabed to the surface across the life cycle of a project. Through our experience and our research and development, we are able to offer some technical options that can provide significant cost savings. Here we'll report on just a few of these cost saving options. 
The first is a suction embedded plate anchor or SEPLA. The SEPLA is a combination of two proven anchoring concepts, suction piles and plate anchors, to increase the anchor point efficiency of preset moorings and reduce mooring system costs for floating structures. The SEPLA system uses a suction follower, which is similar to a suction anchor, to embed a plate anchor deeply in the soil. The suction follower is retracted once the plate anchor is brought to the designed soil depth and can be used again and again to install additional anchors. SEPLA plate anchors are significantly smaller and up to four times lighter than equivalent suction anchors. The size and weight advantage sub substantially reduces the anchor cost. Compared to suction anchors, SEPLAs are 65 to 75% lighter, cost half or less, are cheaper to install, and have a lower environmental footprint. Another cost saving option is our proprietary acoustic release connector. Acoustic release mooring connectors allow an offshore assets mooring legs to be released remotely and immediately. In case of emergencies or to simply save time and money during maintenance, if and when the wind turbine has to be towed to shore. The acoustically operated mooring connector is based on two components, each field tested with a strong track record. The SRP Rocksteady connector, which is ABS and DNV certified, is the world's leading renewable connector and has been used on wave and tidal projects around the world. The Rocksteady V is an efficient mooring line and electrical umbilical quick connector and release. It is designed specifically for hauler mooring pile mountings and pull through operations. It is ideal for renewable applications, including floating wind, wave, and tidal that require power offtake and rapid connections. The Rocksteady tensioning tool, the Rocksteady TT, is a subsea mooring line tensioning system to simplify the installation and replacement of mooring lines on floating assets. The two halves of the Rocksteady TT are drawn together by a surface winch to make a quick connection under final tension quickly, easily, and repeatedly. So all of these products and services are part of an integrated life cycle offering which Acteon companies work together through a single interface. The integrated life cycle offering encompasses pre-feed and desktop studies, site characterization, feed and detailed engineering, mooring provision, marine operations, monitoring and inspection, repair and maintenance, and decommissioning, all to mitigate technical risks and lower the levelized cost of energy. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found the session useful. If you have any questions for Tom, or would like more information on any of our services, please visit our website, axion.com, where you can find our contact form, or alternatively, you can email us at info at We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll be back soon for another webinar.